This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Website obtains Trump's driver's license, finds discrepancy. By Chrysal Vermes. A copy of President-elect Donald Trump's New York driver's license was obtained by Politico, which published it Friday. The website noted the license lists him as six foot two, contradicting statements by Trump and his doctor that he is six foot three. The Trump transition did not respond to a request for comment about the height listed on his driver's license, Politico reported. The website said it obtained Trump's license through an open records request related to the Central Virginia winery that's owned by Trump and run by his son Eric. Politico noted that a Time magazine profile this year said Trump is six foot three and it irritates him that so many media outlets say six foot two. In September. Trump appeared on The Dr. Oz Show, featuring Dr. Mehmet Oz, a cardiothoracic surgeon. On the program, Trump presented a letter from his gastroenterologist that stated he was six foot three. He has had an annual physical exam in the spring of every year, specified Dr. Harold Bernstein. The letter went on to state more health data, including Trump's cholesterol levels, weight, 236 pounds, blood pressure and blood sugar levels. The study was reported within range of normal, the doctor concluded. There is no family history of premature cardiac or neoplastic disease. In terms of medications, Bernstein noted that Trump takes a lipid lowering agent, rosuvastatin, and a low dose aspirin. Shortly after the information was released and the television show aired, the liberal website Slate published an article about the Trump height discrepancy and his body mass index. BMI is the weight-to-height ratio medical professionals use to categorize individuals as underweight, normal weight or overweight. Is it possible that Trump's doctor added the extra inch so that his patient, who is not exactly lacking in vanity, would not be officially obese? Wrote Slate author Susan Matthews. Is it irresponsible to speculate? It is irresponsible not to. However, Slate acknowledged that BMI is a worthless measure of physical health. In October, the Washington Post attempted to determine Trump's height by comparing photos of the president-elect next to others. While there was not a definitive answer, the publication noted that if Trump were under 6 foot 3 and 236 pounds, he would be obese, according to his BMI. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.